Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time for jury. And hello to the viewers online. I'm Katarina Rolf Stotter Jansson, one of the moderators. So please give jury a warm hand. Hello, Jerry. How are things going? That one? Oh, yeah. Everything's good. Yes. You're happy about your rehearsal? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. It's good to rehearse before the main show. <laughs> I guess it's kind of important. So tell us, uh, when you went on for the last time uh, today, uh, how did it feel? Was it anything you wanted to change after stepping down from stage today? Uh, not like nothing technical but um, I just have to get used to the stage you know I've never been on that kind of stage before so I just have to kind of get used to the get used to it and I have uh, some rehearsals uh, but I think overall everything was good so there's nothing to worry look, about. Look good look good so how about the cameras is it difficult to find the right camera? Uh, today there was something uh, uh, yeah they changed something uh, but um, it is, actually. Well, actually not. I don't know. Uh, you just have to follow the red light, that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Follow the red light. Stig Resta, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Stig Resta. Uh, I'm one of the songwriters of this song. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. And Stig, how does he do? Is he, does he give your song justice on stage, you think? Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, that was the thing about it. Uh, when I first first thought maybe going trying again with a song on uh, on the Eurovision, I thought of Yuri, and I was thinking how, how do I approach him? And uh, then he wrote me like to have a song, and I was like, Whew, yes, uh, we can make something." Mm -hmm. How about his voice? He has a very oh, special voice, huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's full of. Deepness. Uh, I think you're 21 years old only, and it already it sounds really uh, like um, like he's not. I don't. Know, I don't want to know how I sound when I'm 50 or 60. You know, it's gonna be rumbling. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's a really good, soothing, deep sound. Mm -hmm. Terrific. So let's open up for some questions. Hands up, up front. Hi. Hi. It's uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. Hello. Uh, hi. You took part in uh, OTSAP AC Superstar. Yes. And I heard that you didn't tell your family about that. No. Why not? Because I was afraid I would fail, you know? I don't want to um, like make my parents sad, so uh, I guess it would be smart not to tell them. And uh, yeah, they found it out. Pretty late when the live shows shows were on, actually. So yeah, yeah she was happy. <laughs> that must have been quite a surprise, huh? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. a good surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of your family, do you have any family members with you here? Uh, not yet, but they will come. My mom, my sister, uh, my aunt, uh, aunt. Sorry, my mm -hmm. aunt. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there will be some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. How does that feel to be able to, to be on this gigantic stage and know that your family is somewhere there in the audience? Well, usually I don't like when my family members are in the stage, uh, like watching me uh, in the arena. But um, I think this time I would enjoy it mm -hmm. uh, because it's in another country. Or I don't know why, but I would just really want them to be here. And, and luckily they will. Mm -hmm. Great. More questions? Gentlemen in the... Blue shirt. Hi, Maciej Eurowizja.org, Poland. Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, yesterday you met uh, Maltese entrant Irausko, and it seems that your team has much more connection with Malta than one could expect. Mm. Can you tell a story about that? Well, um, yes, my, um, like the girls who are singing background 
uh, like ba the backing vocals to my song, they were also singing uh, uh, the backing vocals to Ira Lasko in 2002 when it was in Estonia, when she got the second place. So uh, I'm not the best uh, person to describe the, <laughs> the situation there, but uh, yeah. And uh, Ira was really happy to see them. Yes. Another question from the gentleman in the jacket. Hello. It's very nice to see you both uh, yeah. at the same time. Because I really love when uh, talented people meet and create something together like you did. And you did great, so congratulations. Thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, Yuri, tell me please, is there any part of your song, uh, part of the lyrics of the song that are... No, I will do it again. Uh, which part of your of the lyrics are the most personal for you are mm, the most meaningful for you mm -hmm. uh, Roy, it's, could it's, you introduce yourself please uh, sorry i forgot to tell you it's about okay. it uh, my name is maci i'm from uh, dobre wieczór europa poland i'm just you know under hello. the impression yeah, yeah. You know of seeing two amazing hello. artists hello. together and well it's really difficult to choose because i think overall um uh, i'm connecting with the song quite good um, there are some parts what I connect with, connect with uh, a bit better, of course. Uh, for example, uh, mm, now I can't remember them, which is uh, a bit embarrassing. You're making me nervous. Uh, or maybe it's better if I don't say it. Maybe it has to stay a secret. It's a mystery. Mm -hmm. But I assure you that there are uh, many of them. Uh, it's just difficult to choose one because uh, it's one song, it's a whole concept, and uh, it has a meaning. And you can't, I, I think you cannot choose uh, different parts from, from that. But um, the whole song is, is very good and, and it means a lot to me. Thank you. Question here, the man with the glasses. Hello, good afternoon, Team Estonia. It's JP from Radio International. Uh, well, welcome back, Stig, to Eurovision. You wrote a fantastic song. And uh, also Thank congratulations you. for last year's fantastic entry you had given to us to Eurovision. Um, are there any plans to work together a little bit more with this fantastic voice for this year? With Yuri? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, this year, I'm not sure. Uh, I think his uh, material is al already almost done. And I think he has an album coming out in uh, fall. Yeah, in the fall, yeah. So uh, the concept is already locked. <laughs> I don't think we're going to fit any more songs in the, in the record, but uh, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, in the future, I would be very happy to do that. <laughs> Sorry? More, tell us more about the album. More about the, about the album. Well, uh, it will be released hopefully in September or October. Um, yeah, and it's my second album. Um, first um, LP, uh, like the um, full studio album, and I think it will be very um, a bit different from Play. You know, um, Play was written especially for Eurovision, but my uh, the music in my, on my album um, it's a bit different. It it has different sounds, of course, uh, and and that makes it yeah elec electronic maybe a bit. But I've heard some of it, so you better keep your ear on it. I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. Does it have a title, the album? Uh, not yet. Not yet. No, maybe Yuri Bortsman or maybe J. P. Uh, maybe Play. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We have we'll to see. find it <laughs> quite, quite soon. More questions? Here we go. Okay, I wanted to ask you about, because Estonia has a pretty strong track record. You've finished high up in the ranks many, many, many years now. Do you feel the pressure from your fellow countrymen? No, I don't. Um, I really want to take this as an uh, experience for myself. So I don't want to put any kind of pressure on my shoulders. Uh, of course, Estonian people uh, do support me and they want me to do well and uh, have a high position. But f for me, I, I just want to enjoy the, the time on the stage. And if I enjoy it, I think it will also go quite good, you know. But um, I don't feel the pressure. I just don't like produce the pressure, you know. <laughs> so everything's fine. Great. 
Any special preparations coming up now in front of the before the big day? What do you how do you how do you do? Any special routines, like your routines, any way to eat, drink, sleep? No. Special? I I'm quite boring, you know. I'm just the way I am. Um, I will sleep, of course, as much as possible. Uh, take good care of my health. It's quite windy here in, in Stockholm right now. Mm. And uh, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what I, I'm doing. I just want to. Before I'm going to the stage, I'm usually, um, I want to be on my own and uh, and think my own thoughts and mm. uh, kind of, um, yeah, take a minute for myself. Mm. But uh, other than that, I don't, I don't have any special routines. <laughs> Quite boring, yeah. Mm. No, it's a good idea to take a minute for yourself. Yeah, yeah I think so too. During the meet and greet, there were references to Bond and your sort of your appearance on stage mm. and just sort of the the, the 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 sense of the act. What do you say about that? Yeah, it's true. I mm. think it is a very Bondy song, if if mm. if if I would have to say, and uh, I think it fits me, mm. and I enjoy having this kind of uh, look as well. Mm. I enjoy wearing a suit. I enjoy singing the song. And, uh, and the staging is also uh, quite mm -hmm. casino or, you know, like mm -hmm. Bondi. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think the concept is good. Yeah. So maybe this is a future Bond song. Who knows? Ah, Who knows? You never know. <laughs> Another question? Uh, I write that you are a self-confessed Eurovision fan. What are the first memories of the Eurovision Song Contest and what are your favorites? Um, yeah, well, in, I think in Estonia, I'm just a regular Eurovision uh, um, like follower in Estonia, you know, there's in Estonia it's quite big. We're such a small country, so it's a thing of uh, yeah self identification. So so we look at Eurovision, uh, we watch it every year, and of course I did as well with my family. My first memory it would be uh, when it was in Estonia in 2002. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember the the big. Uh, th uh, triumph of Estonia the, the year before, but uh, I, I, yeah, I remember 2002. It, I think it was in Estonia. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. More questions? So, Jiri, if you had the chance to look your fans in the eye and say something to them, you actually do, because there's a camera up there, and this will be taped, and uh, anybody can go into Eurovision.tv and listen to you. What would you like to say to your fans? Well, I'm just very grateful um, to, you know, I, suddenly I have so many more fans from other countries, um, which is very sweet. And I get many messages every day. And, you know, social media is, is uh, quite huge, you know, these times. And, and it's really easy to follow your fans and get messages. And, and it's really easy to get this positive energy from, through social media. So I'm really thankful for, for that. And I hope to see you uh, in the in the main show, and maybe, who knows, you also vote for me because you know the song is quite good. <laughs> Just go ahead. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Yuri, and uh, have fun and uh, just enjoy and good luck. Yeah, I will. Thank you. And it's now time for photo wall on this side. Yes. Thank you so much, Yuri. Thank you. 